Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Q&A Thursdays Live with Keith and Jeffrey. I am Keith. And I'm Jeffrey. <laughs> My favorite joke, I say it every week. I like it. Uh, we're here back in our, our little studio. Yeah, back, back to almost where it started. Right? Almost where it started, almost I know. Where it started. We've, we've rearranged a little bit, the TV's not over there, and... Uh, you know, we got a lamp. Got a lamp. Now it's kind of like, hey, Jeff, are you all over there? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's good. It's good for us because we're we're high class. Change is so. change is good. Change is good. Change is absolutely good. Thank you, everybody, for joining us today. We're happy to have you with us. I'm sorry, I'm just pulling it up here on the phone so I can answer questions. Um, like every week, we'll be taking your questions, trying to answer them to the best of my meager ability and Keith's overawing. Uh, well, I, I was going to come up with good words, but... I'll, I don't I'll just answer question. the best of my ability. The best of your ability, too. I mean, you do know more than anybody else, so that's really excellent. But welcome, everybody. It's good to have you with us. Um, so, Keith, what's... Uh, it's been a couple weeks now. What, what, have, you, what have you been up to? What's I had a daughter that got married a couple weeks ago. It was nice to, nice to see her get married and Aww. move on. <laughs> One less financial responsibility, <laughs> but I love her. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So I mean, were you sad a little bit? I mean, oh yeah, did you, definitely. Did you cry? Did you cry at the wedding? Of course I did. Good. You know, it's, it's, good for you. It was number three out of five that's moved out, so it, it was it was sad, but it was good. Yeah, you know? good for her and her that's husband, good. and it was a, just been busy here at the shop. I mean, the poor yeah. guys downstairs are busy. The phones are ringing off the hook. The orders are flying those in. Guys are, those guys are crazy downstairs. You know, you used to get go down and be like, hey. What's going on, guys? Like, what's what's happening? And now they won't. They don't talk to you. Yeah. They won't look at you, and they just like brush by. They're they are so busy down there. No, they, they're not blowing you off. They're just no, kind no, of like, no, no, no. And I'm not sad about it. I I know. <laughs> you just kind of scattle out. Skedaddle out of their way because yeah, they kinda, will, they'll run kinda, you down there that yeah. busy right now. Which is good. I mean, good for us. Good for my buddy. You oh, know? Yeah. Oh, so. I mean, I'm happy about it. I just I just stay out of their way. Yeah. Just. That's what I do. I don't yeah. go down there and visit as much as I would like to. <laughs> no. Because they won't talk to you. And it's also why we're in here and not down there today because yes. it's just too noisy. There's no way we can... Yeah, we've had a few hear. people that kind of complain a little bit that have a hard time hearing us down there, but... Uh, I know. You bunch of complainers out there. But I get it. No, I mean, we want to hear you, Keith. Oh. Everybody just wants to hear you. <laughs> it's not about me, Jeff. <laughs> it's about Bud Buddy. Uh, I have heard from your wife on a number of occasions that well, it is definitely all about She's you. going to say that, but... <laughs> awesome. Um, Swiftwater said, hey guys, Swiftwater, what's up? Yeah, what's up, you guys? We, we love these guys. Yes, they they're are a great um, couple. They, they're really, really they're awesome. Amazing hunters. They are. In fact, this weekend, they are headed down to a mud run in Florida, I think. Somewhere around there. I, I think it's Florida. Write in and tell me if I got that wrong. Um, but they're going to be doing some lives for us Cool. Um, on the Swiftwater page. So keep an eye out, everybody, on their page. I'll, I'm going to try to link to those two because it's going to be a really, really fun event. That sounds uh, they, like got, it. they got some fun stuff. It, it would be really fun cool. to go hunting with them, especially if it was on their dime. Yes, mine. yes. So if they wanted to invite <laughs> us, go hunting. Except the bad thing for me is with my job and my position, going hunting is like <laughs> almost non-existent and not going to happen during during the during the season. I know. I know, it's hard, but you know, there is such thing as cell phones. I know, because I'm holding yours right now. <laughs> Broken and all. Broken and all. Still okay. cracked screen. Oh, uh, Stephen Cross, thumbs up. Hey, Stephen, thanks for watching. Oh, they're in Louisiana. Swift they're, Waters, in Louisiana. they're in Louisiana. Louis, that's Got a nice it. place. It's kind of hot and humid, though. I know. Well, it'll be nice with the mud. That's going to be... Yes. That's going to be that's exciting. Mud. So everybody keep an eye out. We're going to post... We're going to try and follow them. They're going to they're gonna take pictures and stuff. That'll be really fun to see uh, them. Uh, Nekne from Minnesota. What's hey, up? Minnesota. We love those Vikings. We do. I'm a Viking fan. That's where my dad's from, so I'm not. Oh, okay. I'm a Viking fan. You're a Viking fan. I'm a Viking fan. I don't know why, but I'm still purple people here. Until <laughs> <laughs> <It's like, laughs> I well, die, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I think there are, there are worse teams to cheer for. Yeah, there are. So, I think that's pretty fun. Vikings? I don't mind the Vikings. I'm about to be a Raiders fan, fan just because they're, like the they're going to you know, be this close. Man. California right. guy, still like I the Raiders. I know. Not in much Vegas, of a Niner fan, though. No. What? No, not a Niner fan. We'll get into that later. <laughs> Actually, let's go ahead and I, I think we should weigh in on this. Uh, your NFL team, maybe if I like the team, you get a point. And if Keith likes the team, you get a point. And we'll see who... 
We'll see who uh, gets some more points. Are we giving anything away for you today? I don't know. What do we do? Let's uh, let's do. Got some mud buddy hats. Let's do a Sitka, yeah, a Sitka hat and a uh, Sitka, sh or not the Sitka shirt, but a mud, mud buddy mud shirt and hat. Basically, is what we'll do for those. You know, we'll, we'll some see. Some of those who participate in that. Yeah, yeah. Throw out, throw out the best teams, teams you got going on. If, if, and we'll see who, we'll see who is better. So uh, for Swiftwater, it'll be Joshua that's going to be at the at the mud run. Well, have fun, Joshua. I hope you enjoy that mud run. Some yes. great people down in Louisiana. I uh, hope you get to meet some of them. You got Andy, the boat doctor, uh -huh. uh, Kent and oh, yeah. and some of the and the guys at Boss Drive. So yeah, oh, it'll yeah. Be, probably be a fun event to be at. Oh, I think that's I think it's gonna be a blast. Hopefully they'll get lots of lots of good stuff. For we're us gonna too. be here in Utah. Oh, we're just gonna be sitting right here. Right here. Uh, let's see, Casey James Brady, Patriots. Uh huh. Zero points for me. Zero. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Zero Sorry. Uh, yes. Great. Okay, so uh, let's get those besides the football teams, which is very important because we're we're only a few days out. Like that it's is happening soon. Around the corner. It's New about season. Time. Oh, no basketball. God. Who cares about baseball? Oh, we need man. some football. Football. I cannot wait. It's going to be a good season. I really love it. Um, but we'll also take your motor questions as yes. well, since yes. this is a, a motor show. Hey, the forties are flying out of here. Oh my Fifties are doing amazing. Nothing but great things said out there. Yes. Uh, in social media land about both of those. Oh, man. And I've, I've seen some pictures. People have sent in a few pictures of those new 50s, man. They they look so good on those boats. Everybody's excited about the new trim switch on the side. Oh, yeah. The momentary switch, which, you know, after we came back from our last, last Facebook Live on the water, I told Jeff, we got to get in with the shop manager and get a momentary no, switch on ours. Because we really do. It, you know, because I, I feel like... Because we've, we've run it a couple of times. We've run one with the momentary switch. And you kind of don't realize how much you use it until you use it and then don't have it. Exactly. You're like, oh. Well, and, you know, yeah. the trim switch on the handle, too. Oh, yeah. The grab bar. You know, that's kind of nice and handy. You know, that, that is really handy. So, if you don't have one of those, I, I would actually really look at getting that upgrade. Just because I, I use it so much. Yeah. You know, and the, the side trim switch... For trailering your motor yeah. makes it nice and easy and convenient. Oh yeah, some extra little options there. So just uh, things are going really, really good. That's awesome. That yeah, is. we're we love it down there. Um, again, we say it every time, but if you have not put in your order for your for your motor, you you got to get on it. You got to do it now because they're flying. They're flying, man. They're not only flying on the water, they're flying off the flying shelf. Flying on the water, <laughs> off the shelf into the water. the water. Yeah, got it. Very good, Jess Jones, Falcons. Not a bad team. I'm okay with that one. I would. I would say one. one all right, we'll here. give it. All right, we'll give him a point. I don't know if I can. I don't know if I can. I just. I, I don't know. I like the Falcons. I like the okay. uniforms. You know. Whatever. Okay. We'll give him one. We'll all start right. Out. We'll start all right. Jess Jones, one, one point. One for Keith. Count it. <laughs> Keith's got a point. Fantastic. Um, let's see. I had another. I've got a special. I have something here that I needed to announce. Um. I want to I want to send out a special shout out. A shout out. Uh, this is a special shout out to Randy Webb. Randy Webb just purchased uh, one of the brand new 40s. He got a 40 HDR with an XL F4 1754. Nice. Boat. And he just nice. got it. Um, they watch the show all the time. So, uh, Randy, thank you so much for watching, being part of Q and A Thursdays. Uh, we love all of you guys that participate. And congratulations on your motor and boat. Yeah, congratulations. Really awesome. It's a great setup. Enjoy that. Have fun. Oh, Shoot lots of ducks and catch lots of fish. Yes. So, Randy, if you ever have pictures, send them to me. I want to see them because they'll be, they'll be excellent. Oh, you need permission too, though, right, to post them. So make sure you send permission yeah. for Jeff. Yeah, you know, like, yeah, if you're going to send a picture, just be like, I give you permission. You give just, me permission. Just, you know, say something because I don't, I don't ever want to get in trouble. Okay, let's see. You're trying to read between the cracks. I, oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'll have it fixed before we do it again the next time. <laughs> oh, man, I have heard that before. But, I'll, but the, honestly, wedding, the wedding's over, so I have some money. All right. Yes, the wedding's, the wedding's over. over. I think we even had a lot of people comment on com comment on here that you need a new screen. Yes. In fact, Chad Wall was pretty adamant about that. <laughs> Darren Bird, hello. Hey, Darren. Hey, Darren, how you Thanks doing? Thanks for watching. Um, Okay, let's see. Chris Rockwell, what is the tool y'all use to install the rear bushing sleeve on the Sport V? A strap wrench doesn't grab it real well. If you're pulling it off, you need to heat it up because it's got a Loctite on it and it's threaded. Okay. 
Um, use some heat, that'll help. If, you've got, if you have to replace it, you can use a pipe wrench, but putting it on, just use some Loctite, use that strap wrench, because that's what we do here. You okay. do not want to damage the surface of that, uh, that um, bushing because the, yeah. the seal's right on it. If you destroy the, the bushing, you ruin the seals, and then right. you have leaky oil and water gets into where it's not supposed to be. So it's a little bit tough, but strap wrench works to get them on the best. If you're gonna replace it, um, you can use a pipe wrench, if not a strap wrench to get it off, but no, you have to heat it up because it has Loctite on it. Right. So. Good. Loctite's a great thing, but if you don't know it's there, yeah. it can be your worst enemy until you figure out <laughs> a little bit of heat goes a long way. Goes a long way. Excellent. Very good. Um, Caleb du Dupes, Dupes. Uh, what are your thoughts with the 50 on a center console boat? It'll work great. I think it would absolutely work great. I think it'll work. All of our boats work with a center console. Yeah. You know, they're, they're set up for that. They've got all the hardware you need. Mm -hmm. You order them that way from the dealer, and they set them up that way. It'd be a great motor. Yeah, oh, I, I, like one of the best. Yeah. Like it's, uh, especially if you've got a bigger boat, uh, and you put that Raptor prop on it, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to put you real well. Bigger boat, heavier loads. Mm -hmm. that, that'll be a good motor and a, and a good boat. And console steering's fine. I, I really... I Jeff, really come on, tell us. It's, no, it's so. There is one down. I don't know. If, actually, I don't think I've posted any pictures. There's one down in the lot right now. A really beautiful F4 F86, actually, which is the same boat. Right, it's the same as our marketing boat, but it's got this sweet center console on it. You like the steering? Oh man, like, I just come like on. it so much better. Like when I finally get when I finally get my own, when I'm rich and famous, I will get my own and then uh, have keep doing that Facebook console. live. You will be famous. Right? Yes. Come on, let's hit let's hit the likes. Hit the likes and Hit shares. Hit the likes. Come on, guys. Hit the likes and shares. Oh, Corey Watson's on. Hey, hey Corey. Corey. How, uh, how are you and that cute little baby? Cute little baby. And more importantly, when are you coming back here? Please. <laughs> <laughs> Randall Martin is watching. Hey, Randall. Hey, Randall. How are you doing? He's one of our Texas guys. Oh, sure. He loves that warm weather. Yeah. The big fisherman, big duck hunter. I got Just you. an all-around outdoors guy is what... I follow him on Facebook. He, he does a lot of outdoor stuff. That's good. So, really good. Yes. That's awesome. I want to know, is there anybody out there watching right now from California that is... Uh, not on fire? That is not on fire. <laughs> oh um, because I've been we've really worried. In fact, it was on the news this morning uh, that we're getting smoke from that fire. Thank here. you very much. So, I, like, it's starting to affect everything. It's just really scary and really really worrisome so we want everybody out there to be safe but you know so all of our california fans we love you and are praying for you guys um okay oh, okay uh this is casey brady i have a 6000 i have only ran a big blade would a raptor or hammer prop perform better hammer prop would be a better way to go and i'm sure you've got enough power to spin the raptor yeah oh so yeah either could... one of those a lot of it would depend on are you running more mud or open water? If you're running more open water, the Raptor is going to be a great prop. It's going to get you a lot more upper end. If you're running more mud and uh -huh. and that stuff, the hammer would be a good prop. Too. I, and, I and both would do you good. The hammer's just got a little bit advantage coming out of the hole in the mud. Yes. Than the, big, than the Raptor. Yes, absolutely. We have too many props. <laughs> We've got a lot of props. It's like, ooh. In fact, my last phone call was a 10-minute phone call about every pop prop that Mud Buddy makes and what's going to work best on his, yeah. uh, his 37 EFI that 37 he's EFI. got a lot of motor work done to it. So uh, it, was a, it was a good conversation, but it was long. You know, and uh, we get a lot of these questions. Um, I was just looking on BPS's page and they've got that really great video that Glade did and he's got all the props laid out there and he really goes through uh, a lot of the advantages of the different props that, that we sell uh, or that we, we provide and that they sell uh, for extras. It's really informative. They've got some good information in there. So that's uh, Backwater System, BackwaterPerformanceSystems.com. So check them out for more prop questions because they've got good info. They've got some good info on yeah, that. Yeah, some do. really good stuff. They do a good job over there. And I'm sure when the season gets going, we'll throw something out there. Oh, I'm sure. Props and some type of repairs. I'm sure yeah. we'll. We don't want to sit in here all the time. Well, no. Okay. I mean, it's a little more comfortable. It's yes, cooler. It is. it is cooler. And a little quieter. It's a little sweaty down there in that hot box. It's so loud. 
Chris Rockwell just said, thanks. Tell Travis to hurry up with my parts. Travis, hurry up with his parts. <laughs> How did that work? <laughs> oh, I don't know if Travis I'm was watching super or Super effective. Yeah, I think that really good. is going to solve the problem. Yep. Uh, no, not that they're a problem. I'm just saying that's, uh, you know, Travis listens to you. Travis. I'll, I can call Travis when I get out of here. I got him on speed dial. You get him on speed dial. Absolutely. Um, Gabriel Cox, can I run a hammer with a stock 37 EFI? You can. It's not going to be real effective. It's a little bit big for a stock motor. It was more designed for performance. I would, with a stock 37 EFI, I'm going back to what I like and what I know, the big yes, blade. Yes, the big blade. A good all-around prop for stock motors. Yes. Hammer, you got to have a little more, a little bit more power to spin spin that blade. Yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, Romeo Flores, hammer is an awesome prop. Thanks, Romeo. Thanks, Romeo. Appreciate Romeo. it. In fact, Romeo, I'm going to send you a hat for that. Thank there you, you very go. much. Uh, I'll send you one of those Sitka hats uh, with the with the waterfowl. So uh, PM me your uh, info, Romeo, your address uh, and your name. And uh, we'll get that sent off to you. Thank you. I, I, I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Oh, that's how. Okay, Casey. So Casey Brady, uh, Casey won uh, won the big blade from us last oh. last spring. We did the big blade. Yeah, yeah, I guess we cool. sure did. Does Glenn know that? Yes. Okay, cool. We do. No, we uh, we absolutely do. Maybe that'll be something we can throw out in the future here, because I know we're kind of gearing up for. The season to come up and things are happening. Oh, a lot of things are happening. <laughs> Got it. Casey, with that question, um, give Keith a call on that question and he can, uh, he can work with you on that. Um, let's see. You want to give him my phone number? Uh, no, Kate, uh, Casey, if you need his phone number, too bad. <laughs> just, kidding. <laughs> just kidding. Yes, give him your phone number. Uh, Absolutely. Off office number is 801. 617-1083. Email is Keith. It's K-E-I-T-H at mudbuddy.com. Sometimes right now, guys, email is the quickest way to get hold of me. Yeah. Because the phones are going off the hook. And sometimes I can do a phone and an email. And an email. Not very often, wow. but sometimes. I'm trying wow. to be a little hey, everybody, bit more. thumbs up. Hit the thumbs up button for Keith. <laughs> Multitasking. Multitasking. Big Ooh. deal. Big, big deal. I love it. Um, here is my fa one of my favorite questions so far. This this is what I really like. Um, is there much difference between the 23 and the 25 Mini? Because I'm a big fan of these Mini motors. I think they're really, really awesome. The, the big difference is the 23 is a Briggs & Stratton motor. Yes. The 25, which is actually a 26.5 Kohler EFI. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, the 26.5 Kohler runs good. Strong running motor. Mm -hmm. The 23 is a little bit lighter. But what I like about the 23... There's performance modifications. Yeah. So if you need a little bit more because you're carrying heavier loads, yeah. you can do that with a 23. But with the uh, with the Kohlers, a little bit harder to do, not as accessible to parts, to parts. as a Briggs and Stratton. Right. So but really, a, a fantastic are, motor though. Yeah, both of them are great motors. Just one gives you the ability to go really fast, and the other one's fast. And the other one's fast. No, just really great like workhorse motors. They're light. They're they're that's, good. They're really strong. That sounds like a, a good a good question for a mud buddy a mud buddy T-shirt. Yes, hands down. Okay. All right, bro. We need your PM us your information, a size. I know we're pretty limited on T-shirts, or so like large and extra large. Yes. So I, I think we've got more shirts yeah. coming down the road. We do. So if we don't if we don't hit if we don't get you at the right size this time, we'll we'll get we'll get you something. Um, Soon, sooner or later, but yeah. So that's uh, Paige and Jason Archie. Um, that's you are the winner of that T-shirt for that question. Thank you so much. So yeah, PM us your the shirt size you'd like and uh, your your address. We'll get that sent off. I, I, that's awesome. Um, Casey Brady says they have your phone number. Okay, I'm glad they do. Okay, here's a good one. Let's see. Okay, so if I put. K&N filter, this is from Gabriel Cox. If I put K&N filter and performance exhaust on, would the hammer do good? It's still gonna be a little bit more prop than that. Casey, those are great little upgrades, the, the muffler and the K&N, but I still don't think it really gives you enough to spin the big, I mean the hammer, 
the way you want it to spin. Right. So what would they need? I mean, what if we were to do the muffler as well? He's got a 3070 EFI. Yeah, He's going to have to do um, some head work, yeah. possibly a cam, really to get the thing to, 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 come, to, to, to come to life with yeah. that other prop. On. Yeah, the muffler and the air cleaner are going to be a nice added couple horsepower, uh -huh. but not enough to really to spin that spin the hammer. I mean, it'll spin it, but I just, I just don't think yeah. it'll, it's not going to be a, as efficient. I as guess, it could be. I guess too, you could really look at. Uh, no, I mean, if you're on a lighter boat, maybe. But even then, I, yeah, I, think, I think you're right. I think, I think the big blade's the way to go yeah. for you until you get some more, some more ponies some under the some hood. more ponies under that, that thirty-seven. Got it. Cody Fielder currently running Black Death forty-two hundred with a hammer prop. Would this prop be ideal for open water, or do you suggest something else? I think it'd be good open water prop. I think, I think so. It's, it's a pretty, I mean, it's a good all-around prop, just yeah. like the, the big blade. Yeah. You know, the Raptor tends to be great big water, open water, big performance. In the mud doesn't quite have what the two blade has, but it's a great prop. But it's a great prop. It's more of a speedy type prop, Yeah. yeah in my right. opinion. And from what... Little testing running <laughs> I've done in ten years of mud buddy. But. I know someday, someday we need to, I don't know, we need to do some some racing or something. Get get some different props on the Hopefully same motor and the water smoother there. than the last two oh, times we've man. been out. I, I don't know how much video we actually got. I might, I have to see. There's some good video of that last time we were out. I thought Keith it was, was motion gonna sickness. <laughs> it was a little rough out there. Well, when that wind kicked up, it was ugly. It was pretty exciting. Yeah, it was. Had my heart going. <laughs> Ambry's too, and she was there with us. Oh, water man. come up over the front come of that boat. The front just slammed out. There's also a video of, uh, yeah, because we were out. There was another boat too, and those waves got they got big out there. Yeah. And they, uh, you just hear, <laughs> as uh, as Josh sitting right on the front front of that boat, man. That was awesome. That was a good time. It was a good day. Uh, okay, let's see. I just gotta make sure, Kern. We have a good question because I'm, I'm thinking about giving something away that's kind right. of um, close to us. Something, something close to us. Something you know, near and dear nice, to our persons. It's a, it's a nice looking hat. Oh, what do you think? Why not? So how about the, the next really cool question? And you get to be the I, judge. I'm going to judge. I've already got my question phone. here. I like it. We're going to give away from our friends at Bird Dog Waterfowl. We're going to give away one of their hats. Yeah. These guys have been amazing. They're a new company coming up out of California. Uh -huh. uh, they're out of Gilroy. Yeah, um, yeah. Garlic Festival. Wonderful. I grew up just south of there. Oh, yeah. The Garlic Festival is amazing in you can put garlic in it. They did it at the festival. <laughs> they do it. <laughs> and you can smell it for miles. It was a very pungent so, festival. Very good. We appreciate them guys and their support. Oh, you've got a bird dog shirt. I do. I'm, I'm going to let you keep a, your shirt. I'm, I'm going <laughs> to give away your hat. Thank you. Very nice of you. Um, Levi and Ashley Smith. I have a 21 horsepower long tail on an 18 foot model currently with two people and gear. It tops out about five miles an hour. Is this fixable with a prop, or is it an undersized motor issue? I think it could be a little bit of the prop, but I think it's just a lot of boat for that's a that's for a the, lot of for boat. the motor that you have. It's it's really simple. It's about power and weight. Yeah. If you only got so much power, you can only have so much weight. And most duck hunters that I know tend to run a little bit heavier, and they need it. So I'm I'm thinking most of his issue is he's just under motored for an 18 foot boat. Prop may help a little bit, but not a ton. Got it. So. Okay. Good. Yeah, I agree. I absolutely agree. Uh, of course with, you do. With that, because yeah. you're the expert. You're the expert, <laughs> Keith. Good okay. job. All right. Uh, Romeo's got another question. He says, oh, so before we get on to that, Levi and Ashley, thank you for that question. I really appreciate it. Um, so we're going to send you uh, the bird dog water file. So PM us your, uh, just hit the, the lamp, I'm gonna knock the lamp over. Uh, send it, uh, PM us your, uh, uh, your address, and we'll get that sent out to you. Appreciate it. All right, Romeo, we'll, we'll make this our last question, then we gotta get back to work. Gotta really. get back Most to work. Keys, gotta get back to work. <laughs> the phones are still ringing. Still yes. ringing in there. And I'm gonna be gone for a couple days, so I gotta catch up. Where are you going? 
Do you want to tell everybody where you're going, or do you not want to tell everybody? I'm actually celebrating my 32nd wedding anniversary tomorrow. So yes! Mom and I are heading out of town, destination Happy unknown. anniversary! No kids, no cell service. Oh, boy. It's be heaven. That's amazing. Well, good for so, you. Congrats! Be gone for a couple of days. So everybody, now is the time to call in. Yeah. Right now. So while he's gone, so he gets to come back to just boatload. Gives a hammer. It'll be that way anyway. It'll so. be that way anyway. Yes. Uh, Romy asks, so I'm curious, you guys have motors on Gator Trax boats and Excel boats. Which boat brand would you suggest to people to match with your motors? And I like this question because uh, of course we do. These, mo these motors are great. They're great for a lot of different types of boats and they work really well. But <laughs> uh, they are specifically designed for XL boats. Like we specifically? Match, specifically. They match really well. They match the really well. Of course, XL boats, they, they're our favorite boats. We love them. They're really great. It's a great, 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 great boat. Great. I love I, Great. I'm not sure if I'm getting this clear enough right now. I'm not sure if I'm being super clear. I love XL boats. XL boats. Excel boats. Let me say it one more time. Excel boats. Gator Tracks does make a good boat, though. Gator and the kids and the guys, uh, David and Alan, that's the other yeah. one. Those are three cool guys. Yes. You know, the elk hunting with Alan last year. What oh, a yeah? cool guy. Yeah. Really quiet, but really cool. Had a good That's time. That's awesome. It was. It's good. I have not met them. Nope. Because yeah. I love Excel boats. Okay. <laughs> I love Excel boats, too. Good. And that would be my first choice. Good. Good. I'm glad, I'm glad to hear it. I'm really glad. But they will work on any they mud will. motor of course. boat out or any mud boat out there. Of course. So. There is no reason that you shouldn't get a mud motor for any boat. But. <laughs> so there it is. Oh, uh, Stephen Cross, do you guys offer a kit to add reverse to a 5500 Black Death? Yes, we do. Yes. Give me a call. 801-617-1083. We need to ask you a couple questions about gearing. Yes. Short, tall. Uh, and then we can talk price because awesome. it, it all kind of varies on what you have and what we need to match it up with. Awesome. So, yeah. Sounds good. That's awesome. Awesome. Everybody, thank you so much for watching. This has been a, this has been my funnest one because we can actually talk without, without, I don't know, without everything going on and forklifts and whatnot. Forklift, air compressor, air tools. Yes. So the schedule for the next little bit. Um, uh, so we're going to continue for the next little bit every other week. So our next live will be August 23rd, and then following that will be September 6th, and then September 20th. After the 20th, we're going to be back every week. We're really excited about that. We're going to jump into, we'll call it season two, if you will. Season two, yeah. Season two. Yeah. Um, so we're really excited about this. We've got some brand new companies that we're working with. We're going to have tons of amazing prizes to give away. All sorts of new and really interesting, awesome, desirable things. I've got, some, I've got some of those in my office, but that's all I'm going to say. Oh, man. I, I showed you that one. Wait. That one I know. Really nice. It's going to be awesome. So starting on the 20th of September, we will begin every week uh, to cover, and then we'll do that all the way through duck season because, yep. we, I mean, we love it. It's going to be amazing. Free stuff. Free stuff. From some cool, some, from some cool friends. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So, thank you so much for watching. Um, if we didn't get to your questions um, in this, we'll try and get to those um, a little bit later in this feed. Um, but, you know, until, until next time, I'm Jeffrey. I'm Keith. And we will see you later. Peace out.